We have some early luck of the Irish this morning because dinner with Julie's Julie Van Rosendahl is with us this morning ahead of St. Patrick's Day to show us some traditional Irish baking. I hope you have the luck of the Irish because there's only one egg. So. Oh, yeah, I like to live on the edge. So far. Do, oh, uh oh. I'll, do, uh -oh. I'll do, practice my juggling later. You're crazy. I know. <laughs> I, I do like to have a little danger element in my cooking. Sometimes. Totally. Okay, so this is an easy bread to make. Yeah, this is a quick bread. So it's Irish soda bread, which means it's leavened with baking soda, mm -hmm. not yeast. Uh, so it's really fast to make. It's the sort of thing that you can make savory or sweet, depending on what you like, what you have in the fridge. You can make cheese and herb bread, garlic, you know, sweet raisin bread, dried fruit, chocolate. It's like a giant scone or scone. Scone. Depending on it. Scone, eat it till scone, it's gone. Philophilo, tomato, tomato. You eat it till it's gone. You're right. But it's like a giant Long. scone, scone. And, uh, and so you can mix it up really fast and bake it and have like a fresh loaf of bread for with your chili or your soup or for, you know, yeah. breakfast on the weekend with your coffee or tea. Yeah. And, uh, and so it's, it, How do it's we make quick it scones bread, gone? But, it's, um, but it's not like a batter quick bread, like, like banana bread or, you know, a sort of a loaf, um, a loaf shaped quick bread. I mean, it's it is a, scone, a loaf. It's a scone shape. It's a scone shape. And, uh, and you can cut it into wedges or in slices, which I kind of like. So you start with four cups of flour. I like using some sort of tweedier flour, whole wheat uh, or oat flour, a little bit of sugar if you want it sweet. And again, a couple tablespoons, whatever, you know, according to your taste. Brown sugar, if you like. Mm -hmm. A little bit of salt, only if you want it to taste good. And, uh, and baking we soda. Do. We like the salt. <laughs> Otherwise, don't worry about it. Um, baking soda, only a teaspoon, which, which does the leavening. And then there's an egg in there, too. A little bit of butter. Now, most recipes uh, call for between two and four tablespoons, which is not a lot. Right. Uh, some have a little bit more, but this is about four tablespoons. And you cut it in almost like you're making pastry. If you want to grate it, have you ever, grate, have you ever grated your butter if you're no. making pastry? Uh, so if you take a box grater, the coarse side of your box grater, you can actually mark off with a knife. Baking hack. You can mark off like a quarter cup and then grate down to the, to the mark that you've made. You just changed Because it goes through to the butter, right? Yeah. Oh. So that's what, that's what I do. That's what I do. So this is my grandmother's um, you pastry. You grate it at room temperature. You can, but it's easier if it's cold right. or even frozen. Just keep some butter in the freezer, and grate it right into your your pastry or Come your um, scone scones or your 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 Irish soda bread. Yeah. Whenever you have to cut in some some butter. That's, that's a good way of doing you. it. Well, you know, normally I would I would to? get in. Oh, totally. Yeah. I would get in there with my hands, but make it I would just make a huge mess. Sure. So then we need the uh, the milk the buttermilk and an egg, about a cup and three quarters of buttermilk, which I should have measured before I cracked the egg in there, but I was so excited to crack that egg. You're a pro. You can So it's about, about two cups probably with the egg in there. And, uh, and if you want to use um, yogurt thinned with a little milk, that it's a great too. way of using it. Yeah, it has the same uh, acidity of buttermilk, so you can, you can get rid of that yogurt that might be you know, getting close to its expiry date and you haven't used it up. Um, you could use some soured milk, a little milk with lemon juice, or buttermilk. So then you stir it up. Oh, let's add some raisins. Mm -hmm. If you want to add cheese, I like to toss the grated cheese with the dry ingredients before I add the buttermilk. Delicious. I have so a very small So if you're going bowl. savory, you eliminate the sugar. You eliminate the sugar, yeah. Unless you want it sweet. I mean, some cheese breads have some sugar in there, but right. I would just eliminate it. And you could add roasted garlic. You could add some dried herbs or fresh herbs. Delicious. And stir it. I brought a nice small glass bowl so you could see. <laughs> it's overflowing a little bit, but that's okay. And, uh, and then once the dough starts coming together, I'm going to clear a little space here. You shape it into wow. this sort of rough um, ball. A rough scone. Yeah, I'm just going to just go right ahead and do it with my hands. We really are living on the bowl, edge today. Because this bowl is just not accommodating my, my needs. But that's okay. That's okay. If you need some extra flour, well, I blocked that. And just knead it a few times. Oh, look at that. To, get it to come together. That's easy. It's not at all messy either. No, so not at all. <laughs> well, you look, you look like you've worked hard in the kitchen when you've got right? this amount of action going on. And it's a fun thing to do with kids, too. Totally. Okay, and finally, we've got the raisin version that we're making right That's here. That's right. The savory that you put some cheese and other spices. Just some, some fresh and uh, dried thyme and, and rosemary in that one. And oregano. Yeah, or, oregano. And then you just uh, cut an X on the top. Bake it about 375 for 45 minutes. And if you like, this is, this is my other trick that I do with scones. 
There's always a little bit of butter left in the measuring cup. We're totally out of time, but I'm loving your tricks. Okay. Look at that. There you go. That's all. That's all I needed to another, say. Another, another cooking huh? hack for you here this morning. Look at this. Magic. And no Magic ma no mess. By Julie Van Rosendahl. No mess whatsoever. We'll have no cleaning up to do during the commercial break. No.